Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to back up our iPod to an external device. So normally iTunes will back up to your local hard drive, but in this case, I want to back it up to an external drive, not taking up space on my local hard disk. So with my iPhone, the backup's a little too large, so I would like to put it onto an external drive. But I'm gonna do this example with my iPod, and let's uh, get started. So let's go ahead and look at our iPod here. So we'll click on it. If I click backup now, it's gonna go ahead and backup directly to the local hard drive. So let's go ahead and browse that folder now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up right here. We're gonna go over to app data. We're gonna type that into the Explorer here. It's gonna bring you to app data roaming, Apple computer, then mobile sync. So there is this backup folder here, which is created to backup your devices. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this folder. For now, we'll recreate it shortly. Okay, and let's go ahead and open up another file explorer here. And let's head over to our external drive. So mine is called stuff. It is the J drive. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder here called iTunes backup. So now I have two folders. Essentially what I wanna do is have a folder in here that links to my iTunes backup folder on my J drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my notepad. So here's the script that we're gonna be using. So it's mklink forward slash j, which is our symlink option. So then we're gonna put our first path, which is going to be the mobile sync backup under app data. So as you see here, I have backup. It's gonna create that folder for us. Then I have the external drive. So let's go ahead and copy this. Let's open up, open up command prompt. And we're going to paste it inside command prompt. We're gonna hit enter. And there we go, so junction created for C users, app data, so on and so on, over to iTunes backup. So now, if we look at both folders, I'm gonna minimize those. As you can see, this backup is essentially a shortcut now. It's got the little shortcut icon there, and here's our iTunes backup. If I go ahead and create a test document here, hit enter, that's going to appear under iTunes, and here's our test document. So now if I go to my iPod, I hit backup now. It's gonna start the backup and there it is. So essentially this is a shortcut leading over to our J drive. So it's not being stored locally on your C drive or under this folder. It's a shortcut to this folder here on, on our right, our external drive. And that's pretty much it. So our backup's done. We have all our files here, and that's it. All right, so if this video was helpful for you, go ahead and give this a like. If you guys have any comments, please leave them below, and uh, take care.